Welcome back to Binge Worthy Network. Keeping up with the Kardashians is coming to an end, and it looks like Chloe is having the worst time dealing with reality. But before we jump in, hit that like and subscribe button if you love the Car Jenner sisters and want to get all the new KUWTK updates. The world's most iconic reality TV show is coming to an end, and people have trouble dealing with it. Yes, by now, you have heard of the shocking news that our beloved Keeping Up With The Kardashians will be airing its final season in 2021. On September 6th, Kim K took to Instagram to let her 190 million followers know that their reality TV will say its inevitable goodbye next year. With the heartwarming caption, the mother of four opened up about what the reality show meant for her and how grateful she was to have such an incredible opportunity. This Instagram announcement was later reposted by Khloe and Kourtney Kardashian. It is with heavy hearts that we've made the difficult decision as a family to say goodbye to keeping up with the Kardashians. After what will be 14 years, 20 seasons, hundreds of episodes, and numerous spin-off shows, we are beyond grateful to all of you who've watched us for all of these years. Through the good times, the bad times, the happiness, the tears, and the many relationships and children, we'll forever cherish the wonderful memories and countless people we've met along the way. Thank you to the thousands of individuals and businesses that have been part of this experience, and most importantly, a very special thank you to Ryan Seacrest for believing in us, E for being our partner, and our production team at Bune and Murray, who've spent countless hours documenting our lives. Our last season will air early next year in 2021. And with those few paragraphs, the sisters finally said goodbye to their beloved show. As you can imagine, the entire world was blindsided by this news, and while thousands and millions of fans were devastated to hear about KUWTK's cancellation, it was the Kardashian-Jenner sisters who took the news the toughest. As Kris Jenner revealed in a recent interview, the sisters were truly heartbroken to say goodbye to the show that built their careers. As Kim K said herself, the sisters were heavily dedicated to filming their everyday lives for 14 years, so it's only natural that the family had a hard time coming to terms with the sudden cancellation. When speaking to Ryan Seacrest, here is what the momager had to say about KUWTK's sad ending. We had to tell the crew yesterday, so we were all crying. Kris Jenner continued to reveal how there is one Kardashian-Jenner sister who is still crying over the cancellation news. But I think Chloe is probably the one who is taking it the hardest and really hasn't stopped crying since we announced. She's been so sweet and just emotional about it. Poor Chloe. Imagine spending 14 years of your life filming a reality TV show and then hearing it suddenly got canceled. Must have been really hard. But for those who don't understand why it's Chloe who is truly upset, let us explain. Coco is widely known to be one of the most emotional siblings in the Kardashian Jenner family. Whether she's extremely happy or unimaginably angry, Chloe has been very open about her emotions and feelings. Apart from being overly emotional and sentimental, it was recently revealed that to Chloe, keeping up with the Kardashians is more than just a show. And that is why the youngest Kardashian sister has the toughest time dealing with the reality TV show's ending. A source recently spoke to Entertainment Tonight about how the sisters feel about KUWTK saying its final goodbyes in 2021. Even though the source pointed out that there were a few siblings who were glad the show would wrap up soon, it was Chloe and Scott who wanted to continue filming. According to the source, Courtney, Kylie, and Kendall were all done with being filmed by cameras 24-7. These sisters were fed up by dedicating most of their time and energy to the show they no longer loved. And that is why these siblings were actually happy to hear that KUWTK would air its final season next year. Kylie is making billions of dollars through her makeup line and product endorsements. She doesn't need the show, and like Kendall, has always struggled with fame and being in the spotlight. Filming the show meant having to be in LA with her family, now is free to fly off on holiday or follow Travis Scott on his next tour. Another insider also commented on Kylie's future and how Stormy's mother was no longer interested in filming the reality TV show. Kylie thinks KUWTK has run its course. She is just so busy with Kylie Cosmetics that she doesn't have time to deal with the long hours it takes to film. She feels like she can buy and sell all of them at this point, and she really got what she needed out of it. Now we understand why the youngest Jenner sister was thrilled to hear she would no longer spend her precious hours over a show she didn't love. And as you know, no one wanted the show to end more than Courtney. The oldest Kardashian sister quit keeping up with the Kardashians back in March of 2020, and here's what she had to say about her easy decision. I have been filming the show nonstop for 14 years. I was feeling unfulfilled. 
and it became a toxic environment for me to continue to have it occupy as much of my life as it was. Privacy is something I have come to value, and finding that balance of private moments with being on a reality show is hard. People have this misconception that I don't want to work, which isn't true. I'm following my happiness and putting my energy into that which makes me happy. Life was moving so, so fast. Even after taking a break from the show and attempting to slow down and give more time to my kids, it wasn't until this time that I've been able to learn their needs again, see their strengths, and be able to be connected as deeply as I once was before juggling so much. With this much anxiety and stress over filming a show, we can definitely say Courtney was more than happy to hear that Keeping Up With The Kardashians is ending soon. And while Courtney was ecstatic about KUWTK's cancellation, there is another Kardashian sibling who is feeling the total opposite. When it comes to the youngest Kardashian sister, Chloe, and Courtney's ex, Scott Disick, these reality TV stars were the ones trying to keep the reality TV show alive. The source opened up about how both Chloe and Scott were desperately trying to stay relevant by launching their very own reality TV show spin-offs. Here's what the insider said. Chloe's tried to launch several spin-off shows, but none of them have been as successful as KUWTK. And who knows how Scott will make money now that the show is being canceled. He loves flying in private jets and being treated like an A-list star. I can't see him flying commercial or paying his own way. Even though Chloe never got the chance to have her own spin-off show, we must admit we understand why True's mother had the toughest time saying goodbye to keeping up with the Kardashians. Unlike her sisters, who now have become some of the world's best businesswomen, Chloe doesn't have much else to depend on. Even though Coco has her own jeans company called Good American, the reality is True's mother has a lot of free time on her hands. So it's totally understandable why the youngest Kardashian sister was so adamant to keep the reality TV show afloat. But sadly, even after numerous attempts, the family came to the decision to say goodbye to keeping up with the Kardashians. After years of being on the air, the ratings and viewership started to fall, fans got tired of seeing the same old drama and scandals being filmed, and the viewers were craving something fresh and entertaining. And while the Kardashian Jenner sisters are undeniably one of the most entertaining families in Hollywood, the truth is, these sisters don't have much more to give when it comes to their reality TV show. After more than a decade of being on the air, people across the globe have seen it all. From hidden pregnancies to international cheating scandals, viewers of KUWTK are no longer surprised or shocked to hear about recent drama or controversy. But even though the ratings have dropped, fans of the Kardashian Jenner sisters are still actively supporting the reality TV stars on Twitter. Here's what some fans had to say about KUWTK's final season. Oh my God, just watched ending of season 17, cried my eyes out, now on to 18. Binge watching is my fave pastime for this show, but knowing the news we all received of the ending, I'm so emotional. Love this family for many reasons. Chloe, you rock. Hugs and kisses. Okay, so I love KUWTK, but I'm coming to terms with it ending. But I would like to pitch a show with a spinoff where Chloe and Scott play jokes on people because they always keep me laughing at Chloe Kardashian at Scott Disick. I'm so gonna miss Chloe and Scott. With all of this fan support, maybe Chloe and Scott do have a chance of having their own spinoff show. Who knows? Maybe Keeping Up With The Kardashian will launch the Coco and Scott show. We would definitely watch it, wouldn't you? Are you sad the show is ending? Do you think Chloe will get her own show? And would you watch the Coco spinoff? Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and give us a like. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications and share this video with your friends. Goodbye, everyone.